What's up, Photox Cubele? Me llamo Jesús Martinez and I'm a San Diego local photographer. And today we're going to be recreating Mac Miller's photo from the album cover, Circles. Man, that was like take five or something. <laughs> Starting off, I had to do a setup. Um, I've been using this super cheap setup from Amazon. I've had this for a long time. I'll go ahead and just link one of these down below. This is a simple white backdrop. It's one of the Savage ones. They're a little bit cheaper um, and it's not the wide version because we're gonna be zooming in and all. And I mean, with the small one, you can still get away with it and do a lot of cool stuff. For my flash, I am using a flash point flash but you can do it with any flash that you have available as long as it connects to your camera of course and it's just a simple bow and smell and a simple tripod nothing nothing fancy here this is all the cheapest stuff on amazon it it's readily for everyone again i'll go ahead and link everything down below so make sure you check it out if you're looking for the right ones coffee break for the diffuser we're actually going to use this newer diffuser it's a beauty dish and it works really well I really like this I love the soft light that comes from it but I hate how it's almost impossible to put away it doesn't have an easy way of disassembling it and for that I only leave it inside my house in studio I don't carry it anywhere and for the camera I'm shooting with the Sony a7 III and the Tamron 2875 you guys know that's like my favorite combo right now and of course gotta look good so Control it with the phone and take some cool shots. I'm not the best model, but hey, you know, I can do a little bit of work. Now I have been listening a lot to Mac Miller lately, especially his last album. This thing is a masterpiece. And if you guys haven't checked out this music theory video on it from Spotify, I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below so you guys can check it out. I thought it was really cool what he did with the actual album. Now, once you've got your photos, we gotta jump into the edits and go from there. Let's go. All right guys, so once you've imported your photos into Lightroom, I always go ahead and one star them to start off with and pick the ones that I actually like. Now for this type of photo, you want to make these poses where you're either like leaning to one side or the other, closing your eyes, opening your eyes. This way when you actually merge the photos, you will have a composition that looks a little bit odd, a little bit different, eye catching, just like Mac Miller's album. So for these photos, I actually went ahead and just framed them for Instagram. I did the four by five, like always. And since we were gonna do black and white, I actually went right ahead and used that black and white high contrast preset that already comes in Lightroom. After that, I just did a couple of tweaks to the image. Now, once you've selected the image that you like, go ahead and go into right clicking the image you've worked on, go to develop settings and sync settings. Once you sync settings, it will actually do it to all the images. All the images must be selected prior to this, that way it knows what images to sync with. Now, I did add grain to the images because Mac Miller's photos shows a little bit of grain on it. So if you want to add the grain, go ahead and add the grain. And it's just very simple. You go down into the grain option, the amount, the size, and the roughness. Do as much as you like. If you do add it, make sure you sync that as well with all the other images. Now it's time to export. Go ahead and export those photos so we can get ready for Photoshop. So I find it easier just picking one of the images that I liked, right clicking and opening it with Photoshop. That I find that a really easy way to just jump into it. Now you want to make a copy of that layer once you're in Photoshop. So it's as easy as pressing Command J, you will create a layer of that background. This is where the magic really happens. Go ahead and pick your second image that you really like and just drag it into Photoshop. It will place it over the images that are already in there. Once that photo is in there and you have to make sure that it's the top photo of all the layers. That photo, you're going to go ahead and drop the opacity, which will basically make the image a little bit transparent. This will give you that double shot exposure and it pretty much creates the effect for Mac Miller's album. Now, if you don't like that image, if you feel like it could work out better with the other ones you got, just go ahead and drag them in there. Just make sure that the top image is the one that has dropped the opacity. That's what, that way it's kind of transparent and you're able to see through it onto the next image. Move them around, play with it, do more than one if that's what you want to do. This is where you just get creative. So I really like how this turned out. I think it really looks like Mac Miller's cover. I was pretty happy with it. Now, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel for future content. Let me know if you like this type of videos. I, I had a lot of fun making this and I think I'm gonna make a couple more videos like this. Let me know what artists you'd like to see or what kind of image you'd like me to recreate. I think that'd be really cool. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and if you made it this far, I will be posting a lot of 
my old lenses on my self eye account I'm trying to just get rid of all these that I, I really rarely use especially now that I'm using a full frame sensor so if you guys are interested in these they all work they're all in excellent condition and I will be posting them on my self eye and yeah that's all I got for you guys have a good night guys peace